here, 1v1, Caldera Safinery, blue side, Metal Deer Solid is a war boss, a melee commander that walks through objects on very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines, and he's incredibly angry, look at his face. Up against is Dandalus as a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on very good offense and disruption, fights mainly in melee combat, this is the word bearers elite uh, DLC I should say from Relic. Some CSM into some heretics and double shooters for Metal Deer Solid. We have two commanders here that can. They don't really want to engage in melee combat very early on because of their inherent abilities. Kill the weak for the Chaos Lord and the War Boss's Stomp. Unless you can bait them out or maybe wait until they use it. Chaos Lord having the advantage of that Corn Worship allows him to tear up his shooters slightly quicker if he sacrifices the use of a heretic squad in combat for a few seconds. He can get in there. I assume we're going to see both commanders leading the line at the start if we get a big engagement with the war boss. Are they going to meet on the east side here? Warboss having to think about it. Nope, he's going the other way. Vandal is keeping his heretics with his Chaos Lord, some corn worship there. Bit odd to completely focus on this east side from Dallas. We'll see how it does. Maybe also push him all the way back to this red point and decap it. That'll be pretty annoying. The orcs are milling around mid. Sluggers have been caught. Girls thought getting some shots in with that twin link bolter he has. As a power weapon, of course, the war boss does 42 DPS, I believe, which is pretty damn high with his full weapon. The Girls thought, I think, is 26 DPS power melee. Heretics worshiping corn a little bit too long now to retreat into a whole lot of stuff. Luckily for them, the sluggers are not in position. Maybe they are going to get in position to get a few hits and take a few models. Get one. Heretics down to four, but they get away okay. A little bit sloppy there from Dandalus, but he has managed to decap that wreck point and skirt around the edge of the map. Now he's going to decap the VP, I think. Yes. Shoot, boys. With all that piercing DPS. Don't want to get caught out of cover though by the CSM, they will get shot down. They should be able to melt the heretics pretty damn well with their infantry armor, just 75 hit points per model. Very, very vulnerable to piercing damage. Chaos Lord continues to lead the orcs around. He knows he's outnumbered on the field now that heretics were retreated out and Metal Gear Solid is chasing him here. He's going for a gen bash. Heretics and the Chaos Lord trying to get into melee combat. The CSM not doing anything. Sluggers, meanwhile, are bashing the node themselves and are now decapping it. Heretics on the way out. And even more Heretics for Dandalus into a Havoc squad. So he's going to have a big numerical advantage early on. And he gets the generator. Yes! And it gets everything the heck out of it. We're watching that massive chain axe he wields one-handed. Taking out some Heretics on the street. Big chunks of damage from I think. Sluggers get away using hard boys from the global bar of the war boss to survive the onslaught of the heretics. And they do get away. These guys lost the model as well. Here are the Havocs set up team with a heavy halter by default, which will suppress infantry. They can also get different weapons in tier two, but they will give up the ability to suppress infantry units. Double shooters, one of them with a shooter boy knob leader. Tough model that would die last. Good DPS from this guy. Also buffs the squad's damage once they reach tier 2 by 15%, I believe it is. They also have big shooters. So, yeah, and more big shooters on these guys. That's a hell of a lot of damage. Look at that thing. 14.73 piercing DPS. And they get two of them in the squad. More than the CSM are putting out, I'm pretty sure. There's only three of those. There it is. Gonna get suppressed. Unluckily, he did run into those havocs. If not, would have been able to whittle down the heretics quite a lot. But as it stands, he was suppressed immediately and then got rushed. War boss seeing off the heretics and backing away. He's lost a bunch of health though, down to 496 there. Sluggers taking back the natural VP. 500 to 464 on VPs. And Metal Deer Solid needs to get something else on the field, you would think. Storm Boys and Pain Boy, maybe. Or just some looters to try and stem the tide but he does have the Chaos Lord who can easily get into combat with a setup team if he uses the Dark Halo and Corn Worship he has 
plenty of heretics to worship him. Go and stop capping. Big mob of heretics. One of them with grenade launchers gives them a sort of soft artillery option early on to disrupt and damage things. CSM with eternal war. Yes, you can tell by the plus decorator above their icon. The notification upgrade. Heretics get into a free path of the sluggers. A bit slow to react though, weren't they? If they got a double doom blast there, they could have done really big damage. But as it stands, he seems to struggle to seem to struggle slightly to need to control of his all of his units at once in that moment. Could have been a vital moment. Slugger's got way out of position there. Now this one is still nothing else up in tier one. Is he gonna go for tier two death dread? Not be a shabby idea. I'm gonna rip through these heretics, that's for sure. See a set of captain tubes here, got to get us off. Look at the damage on it. So much piercing damage, and that's on commander armor, which has good resistance to piercing damage, I believe. War boss does have his angry bits, allows him to charge into combat, or out of combat indeed, and regenerate some health. It's really incredibly useful. Also, leaves craters of cover, as you see there. Heretics getting absolutely melted by these shooter boys. Wanting to get the decap there and gets away with three models. Some more CSM for Dandalus. Wow. Mel Dear Solid might be able to get up a very, very painful death dread here. 483, 454, Dandalus going for the tier 1 domination. Yeah, shooter boys don't really want to mess with a ton of war CSM and Chaos Heretics on their own. They come to war boss, might see that angry bitch charge, and now I'm angry it's called. And of course it is. So I'm just trying to get in behind. Don't have their burning though, which would give them a couple of power weapons, make them a bit more dangerous for the CSM who are more than decent in melee combat, especially for a squad with strong range damage. Heretics backing away towards the Havocs. Do suppress these sluggers out. You saw a single volley there. Doing so much damage from those grey launchers. Drop two models. Here come more CSM. And they have their eternal war also. Wow. Now this one wants to get that death trick up quickly. I would think. Yes, there it is. Just 60 power to get this thing on the field. And I think it's another. I don't even know. I think it's 200. No, no, it would have prank guess. We'll see how much it is for burners and bits. I think it's. 150 or 130, something like that. Shooter boys hanging out by the power to make sure, or to try and stop Dandalus from going for it. He could go tier 2 pretty quickly. Got a lot of upkeep though, isn't he? Death Tread. Might just see it go straight for the power, or is he going to use it to wreck some faces first and give away that he's got it, give their Havocs maybe time to get a counter up if he can get to tier 2 quickly enough. Well, boss is going to be forced off here before he even gets into combat, I think, yes. A couple of heretics caught, well, Dantilus doing the thing here, when you have numbers you want to split, make your opponents fight on two sides. Here comes the death dread, starts off with two shooters on the front. Is he going to start hitting stuff? There we go, bang. Shooter boys getting caught, Slugger boys getting caught, they did have their knob leader who is the only one who gets away. Dandalus doesn't really have a way of dealing with the death ring, he seems to just be ignoring it for now, might want to take a run at the generators, yes he's going for them. Surely death grid upgrade and then a weird boy for Metal Clear Solid, no son of it yet. Just to wait until he goes after the generators maybe. Snap. Wow, big chunk of damage. I think it's around 60 DPS heavy melee this thing. With a bunch of splash also. Is he going to make a run? At the power. Dandalus, no sign of him getting a mark for his Havocs. Fave Marines is he going for? I don't know. Warboss still level 1. The Chaos Lord also still level 1. Haven't really seen them get stuck in, have we? 
Missing damage on those CSM. All those takes the model. The other guys just retreat out of there as well. Maybe could have backed them off, but they want to get caught by that shooter fight. But those big shooters have such long range. 41, is it? Yeah. Going for gens now. Death Dread alongside them. Metal Deer Solid floating so much requisition. And it's a Chaos Dreadnought on the way for Dandalus. Should be able to take a Death Dread down. Still, he might get some hardcore things. Double strip is suppressed, but here comes the Death Dread to tear into those Havocs. There's some Corn Worship. Facilitating his escape, maybe, but he does retreat out. Dandalus backing away now from the Death Dread, using that Corn Worship for the plus two speed. Such great worship. And waiting for his Chaos Dreadnought. Is he just going to. Oh, he's going for Mark of Corn. Interesting. Gonna tear through those orbs. Metal Gear Solid still hasn't purchased anything. Is he going straight to tier 3 here? Death Dread never got Burner's Fizz. Could be a big mistake. But it looks like he's gonna bash the gems anyway, so maybe that's resources well saved. He is gonna bash the gems here, I think. Sludders don't have their bonus, but they do have the knob leader. They might be able to decap the V people. Here comes the Chaos Dreadnought with the Mark. Or making it into a fearsome close combat walker. You see the Death Dread is getting the hell out of there. Not only does it do more damage and have more health, it also has this. There it is, the Blood Rage. Increasing his damage even further, increasing damage distance and speed. But you do lose control of the Dreadnought for the duration. It could turn on your own stuff going after the Death Dread though here. Doing big chunks of damage. And now you get control back. You might turn around and take some hits. I should say, deliver some hits to those super boys. Nope, he's happy to chase down the Death Red. Might chase it all the way into base. Tank buses on the way though for Metal Deer Solid. 300 wreck gets you a very, very solid anti vehicle unit. And now he goes tier 3. 416393. Looted tank, I would think. Doesn't want to get a Knob Squad versus a Mark of Corn Dreadnought. Not with Melee Walkers now having Melee Resist. And there's a lot of repair support. Havoc's coming back out. He's keeping that suppression to try and control the green tide, especially this war boss himself. Doesn't want him having free reign charging around. That tank busters on the field have those rocket launchers to have the absolutely awesome tank buster barrage that can disrupt and do seriously heavy damage to a large target if you can time it and aim it right. Especially good versus tanks since they seem to have usually a larger physical footprint to hit. Death Dread now does have the burners of bits. There's slaughter on the CSM, double slaughter, the Warboss does charge in and disrupt them, lose his stock and does not get away. Michael Corn Dreadnought getting a couple of hits in, but did initiate very well there. Here come some heretics wiping out. He might lose both of those heretics, but he is going to, isn't he? Yes, and now it's Dreadnought versus Death Dread with Tank Buster support. Shooter is in retreat. Tank Buster needs to get out of there. The Death Dread, I think, is done for. Yeah. Death Dread is down. But killed. Double Heretics. Got a bunch of XP. Got the CSM both leveling up to two. And there goes the Death Dread down. Now he's got nothing to repair his Chaos Dreadnought. Everything reinforcing back at base. Metal Gear Solid well into tier 3 here. I would think he wants that looted tank to shoot that dreadnought from range. Gonna see a power bash. There is that looted tank on the way. Chaos Lord does hit level 2. Thanks to that death dread going down, I would think he must have got a few smacks on it. Warboss almost level 2. Here's that shooter DPS though. There's double knob beaters on. CSM very lucky not to lose a model. Wow. 200 hit points on four models. Very, very lucky. Tank Buster Barrage disrupts the Havocs. Warbus trying to charge him, but he is suppressed. And he's going to get caught by the Chaos Dreadnought. Doesn't want to go down again. Might want to retreat away your Warbus, don't you? 
Tier 7 drop in a model immediately from those shooters. Warboss does level to 2 and the Kill Thread not safely gets away. Here is the looted tank member that chases it down even. He goes after it. Then he goes to burn. Only one of the five will hit. Such an awesome piece of war gear. Gives him the grenade decorator as you can see denoting that it's an area of effect attack. Incredibly useful. 273, 385 Dandalus with the triple cap. But Middle Deer Solid, as it stands right now, I think, in terms of his army, is a pretty decent composition. This little tank changes everything. Might see it chase down the, the Curse Tread. No, I don't think he could see it. Maybe he did see it. It's going after it, I think. Right, he's going to shoot up the Curse Storm here. He does get away. Death Dread now hanging around dangerously. Here come Heretics. It was a misplay, wasn't it, from Dandalus to just send, send those heretics in like that. Did he want to get a bunch of up back there or something? 2-3-2, two, 3-8-5. Three, two, three, it's going to be a 2-2-1 two, two, for Middle Deer Solid. Now he needs to bash power, try to push his advantage as much as he can. Looks like he's taken a looting tank there and his double shooters who are level 2, both of them. More havoc for Dandalus with Mark of Corn. he's going for. Oh, he's going for Mark of Corn on his initial squad. They will get an auto cannon, doing huge amounts of damage to all targets with a small area of effect, but they do lose the, the ability to suppress. Is he going double auto cannons? It's pretty damn fun to use, yes he is. As you can see, they do upgrade quite quickly, but they are disabled during the upgrade when they get in knots. Power bash. The attack now has a threat against it. Not quite a crazy auto cannon there, but he has pretty damn good range for how powerful it is. 3-2-3-5-7. Metal Gear Solid needs a bit more power. Is he going to get an ob squad now? I think he should get some flash kits up. Because with the blasters, they will really hurt those Havocs as they're so stationary being a setup team. Get a couple of flash kits with blasters and you will melt stuff, especially those double CSM also. Might force Dandalus into getting Mark of Corn to chase them down on his CSM. And then you can counter initiate with your war boss who has the heavy armor up to 1800 hit points in just level 2. I think it gives you plus 900 health with the heavy armor, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, Fredmore being chased down by the looting tank. Tank bus is also there, unable to get line of sight for a shot though I think, there is the Blood Rage, Warboss might go down, Blood Rage helping it stay alive and now Warboss does get away, he needs to finish off that Dreadnought here surely, he needs to go after it, 3, two, three one, eight. A nice get the Galaxy Burn, the, jet, the, the Dreadnought I should say will go down, one more shot from the looted tank, eventually there we go, Dandalus in a tough spot here. Those auto cannons ripping through those sluggers. Wow. Hard boys unable to save them. I don't think the tank wants to get close to those guys. 232. 305. Double CSM were chasing for something. What are they up to? Oh, they have power. Two to one now. Might get a triple here, Dandalus. A sneaky little triple. Here come tank buses, maybe to disrupt them off the cap. I'm not sure if they will knock them far enough away to stop the cap. But yes, they do. The cap is stopped. Ouch. That cannon hit all four models, I think. That couldn't quite take a model. That's very lucky of them to get away. Uh oh. Oh, double orc and then setting up on re armor. Painful. Wow, really painful. If both of them were firing at it, it might have taken it down. 221-298. Can't be foolhardy now with that looted tank and it needs repairs really badly. Sluggers are the repair unit for Orcs. He's going for burners. Gives them some more health. Also gives them a couple of power weapons. Oh, look at this war boss with the power floor. 95 DPS heavy melee. Then guys, he burned on the double shooters. Pretty unlucky not to hit better than that. You can't really control where each fireball goes. It's chaotically random. Raptors on the field for Dandalus to quickly suppress and tie up the tank buses or the double shooters. Or hopefully for him, 
all three of them. You also get that power fist on the rear arm of the Lucan tank, maybe. Might be a shrewd purchase from Panthers. We will see 198, 298. The targets coming into play at least one of them is. Raptors jumping in. Some pressure stuff going after the Lucan tank commander. The snuggles are there to come to Nikkei, so it's a little bit risky. Struggling to get into combat. Lucan tank's going to go down, I think. Yes, we're struggling to move away. Lucan tank goes down. That is a big victory for. Dandalus. User choppers on the sluggers. Giving them huge amounts of melee skill and a melee damage buff, but they're gonna get wiped out here. Wow. Metal gives solid just got wrecked. Raptors completely trapped. I don't think he was expecting them at all. The attack seems to be stuck there, because they can move. 172, 298. Very unfortunate for him if it was stuck. Or was he just not moving it? Flash gets on the way for Metal Gear Solid. Is it going to be enough though with the Raptors on the field? He still has those double slaughter capable CSM as well. There's no going to the cap, but it's going to be disappointed, I think. Goes for that mechanic to burn before he's shot down. And does just about get away thanks to that disruption. Wow, hit that really well. Here comes the war boss flash gets hit in the field. Is it going to be enough? 149298 Dandalus with the VP advantage. Raptors almost hit level 2 in that single engagement. Keep the pressure on, and that's what he's doing. Got to keep the pressure on. Don't invite it back onto yourself. He's got his havocs pushed all the way up here. That little tank will now be providing some heavy cover until it's crushed and exploded by something. 1, 3, 4, 2, 9, 8. War boss being split and shot down by the CSM. Trying to keep them separate and he does do so. Here come those double shooters. Raptors go for a jump. But they miss it. They do get the secondary jump with the suppression mode. Getting shot down. Wow. Took a lot of damage there. Allowing the CSM to get in position. Flash gets now behind some heavy cover shooting there. Snaz guns, as they're called. We actually have a very cool model for the blasters, but their Snaz guns are just the twin nick shooters that the commander dog uses, I think. I think they do like 40 DPS piercing per gun or something crazy like that. And hit finders are up 101, 298. That is why you get the plastics. Look at the range of those snaz guns. I didn't think it could get blasted, but Knob Squad on the way. Want to save his power for that. Whoa, CSM just wrecked the double shooters. What the heck? I wasn't even watching them. 92, 298. Warboss, ah, I get stuck. Charges getting stuck is so annoying. Might finish off those Havocs. Going to, surely. Smack, it does. Not uh, flashkits, I should say, now capping. Warboss going after the other Havocs with hard voice up. Can he finish them off? Don't think he's going to get the other model with his claw. Don't think so, no. Here comes the Kale Squad now. Warboss tearing stuff to pieces. Very, very angry that his double shooters are taken out. Did they just get shot down by Slaughter? I think they did. Blade Marines on the field. Just to give him a tough unit to cap is it? Knobsquad on the field and more flash gigs. 77, 291. Now Plague Marines are light infantry or regular infantry in terms of their armour class so they will be taking a lot of damage from those snaz guns. But they do have a big fat pool of health and good health regen. Here come the double CSM. Level 3 and level 3. Flash gets retreated out to try and get some health back. And here come more flash gets. The Knob Squad are upgradeless, so they have these two handed chain axes, heavy melee. Looking pretty cool. And here comes Mina in green. It gives them the frenzy ability to use, which costs you red to give them damage, invulnerability, and immunity suppression. He's 
Good thing, I guess he needs to. He's only got 77 VPs. He's got the 2 to 1. He wants to just stop him capping there, I think, for a few seconds. Plague Marines are now doing so. Chaos Lord goes for the Blood War. Allow him to counter initiate somewhat against the knobs. He might be able to send in double slaughter CSM in melee to damage them quite a lot. Afterwards, it's going to be risky though. And he's going for Demonic Visage. He must have seen the knobs. He's going to have to debuff them constantly now when he gets a hit in. Probing. And look at that. is getting shot to pieces. Here is the attack. Or rather not. Nob's not going for the cap, are they? Nope. Frenzy. And going after Slaughter CSM. Chaos Lord waiting for the right point to use the Demolishing Strike. Oh, what was it called? Sweeping Doom. There we go. Demolishing Strike is the rather captain version. Well, a rather similar ability. Great one of the CSM squads, in fact they just about get away. Level 4 now though, Nob Squad got shot to pieces but do get away. Hard boys helping them out, do they get away? Raptors on the treats. Couldn't quite finish them off. Here comes the war boss and he's not pleased. 44-252, looks like Dandalus is going to take this game. Especially if he gets a decap on a natural here. Level 5, got the Chaos Lord. I believe it's a 100 DPS melee weapon for Blood Maw. Abbott's going to be tied up and maybe forced off by the war boss, are they? He needs to be careful here. Yeah, he needs to be really careful. That Blood Maw is not messing around. He's forced off 28252. He's going to get a double cap at least, maybe a triple, and it might be too late for Metal Gizzler to respond. Losing those double shooters when he did, the way he did, was really, really bad. and has cost him here. If he had that shooter DPS and that engagement, he might have done a lot better with his knob squad. As it stands, he needs to do, completely reinforce them. Look at just doesn't have the resources to do so. Some stick bombers on the way, but there's the game. 252 VPs remaining. Dandalus takes it. Interesting stuff. That saw Dandalus leading Metal Desolid around the map early game with those all those heretics who all perished, of course. Took down a Chaos Dreadnought, took down a Looter Tank, took down a Death Dread. And the orcs unable to keep up the pressure when those shooters went down. Just didn't have enough time to recover there. Level CSM, did they both get level 4? Only one of them got level 4. The war boss himself, level 5, as was the Chaos Lord. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.